Hi there, the name's Nico, and today I'm going over how the top Felix player in Korea, Mansole Hall, plays Felix. You can also find him on Twitch, as shown on screen, and is also linked in the description. So let's get started. So the build is 18 foot spear, Chang Pao, Crystal Tiara, Radar, Bucephalus, and Lace Quiver. The road goes Avenue, Hospital, Forest, Beach. The build ID is displayed on screen and is also written in the description. In Avenue, make sure you grab and immediately drink the honey that is part of your loot set. Also, grab the set of stones by the Avenue Teleporter. You need two sets of stones for your build since you need three glass shards. In Hospital, grab an extra alcohol so you can make raisin rum bread. Make sure you grab a set of stones here as well. You want to have all your glass shards made before heading to Forest. In Forest, make sure you grab a flower for your build to make flower look here to make Chang Pao. You also want to grab honey and immediately drink it here. Also, try not to forget to grab the spear and extra feather that is part of your loot set. You'll be using these items later on. In Beach, finish your weapon and feel free to kill anyone that is underbuilt. You should be close, if not full build, around 2.5 minutes, so even around 2 minutes, you should have at least 4 of your 6 items done. Use your spells to make sure the person you are fighting doesn't grab the speed gate so you can secure the kill. Also remember to order in a short rod so you can finish making your laced quiver. During night 1, you want to stay in beach and farm all the animals here. Once you are done, head over to hotel. Here you want to grab 2 scrap metal, 1 iron ore, a pistol, and a knife. Combine the iron ore and scrap metal to make steel and combine that with your spear. Don't drop the extra steel. You'll be using this to make Dragon Guan down and Lace Poseidon later on for weapon mastery. You are grabbing the pistol here so you can transition into Jolly Roger later on. In Pond, you want to grab two spears, a hammer, a short rod, a bamboo, and a ribbon. Use these materials to make Lance of Poseidon, Dragon Guan Dao, and Jolly Roger. Don't use any of the spears, just drop them once you are done. Don't equip Jolly Roger yet. You want to wear this later on in the game once your attack speed scaling is good and or you are on Cosmic Biden. After this, you want to head to Alpha and then farm animals. Characters you might run to at a beach include Aya, Nadine, and Adela. The skiller for this build is passive QEW and R or alt when available. The build will help the skiller to save so you don't have to worry about memorizing it. For augments, take Diamond Shard as your core augment with Embolden and Steadfast. You can't naturally proc Embolden, so you'll be running Assembly as well. Since this build is pretty squishy, you're running augments to keep you alive for longer overall. You will be taking Thorn Shackles for more damage though. Now for your transition items. For your weapon, you want to switch to Cosmic Bident. Now if you know you can get a tree soon after, you'll save the Meteorite you have for a 4 score instead. But if you only have access to a Meteorite for the time being, make Cosmic Bident. For your chest piece, you want Methyl Armor or Blazing Dress. You don't need to prioritize switching off of your chest piece. For your headpiece, you want a Lazy and Halo. Never spend a Meteorite on Fallen Pegasus. If you find a Fallen Pegasus on a body though, use it. Just don't make it yourself. Always use your first force core on Elysian Halo. For your arm piece, you want Mithril Shield. Your first Mithril will most likely go towards Mithril Shield. You actually don't want auto arms because you really need to have high attack speed on Felix to play him effectively. For your shoes, you'll want to switch to White Rhinos if you find them. Otherwise, you want Red Shoes, Mithril Shoes, or Boots of Hermes. Changing your shoes is not a priority. And for your accessory, you'll be using Jolly Roger. Otherwise, you can use Sanguine Goodbye or Moonlight Pendant. Now for a Felix combo, this is what I saw Manzo Ling Ho use many times fighting people. If you can start the fight in melee range or close to melee range, you want to use Q auto auto, Q auto auto, Q auto auto, R W if they use a mobility spell, otherwise use Q auto auto. Unlike with Lidai Lin, your double strike is not guaranteed. You need to have proper spacing to play Felix effectively, so you might only end up with only one auto between spells. If you can't close the gap naturally, your combo will be you start with W3, then use Spear Skill, Auto Auto, R Auto Auto, Q if you can stay in melee range, W if you can't, then Auto Auto. I'll show you how I use the combo and how it was used in game. Now there will be some variety with using Q and E depending on who you're fighting. If you're fighting an auto attacker like Ryo, you'll want to use E instead of Q. And you want to time when you use your E because it's a dodge, meaning you can avoid taking damage from Ryo's autos. So before using the range combo in this context as an example, I want to do E, E, then W3. These combos are some examples, not the end all be all. Now that I've explained the build, here is a game showing in an action. So yeah, it just uses his mobility, the loop quicker.
Picks up the rocks here. I'm actually gonna open this just in case I wanna pause. Again, just looting and crafting at the same time. It's faster to do it that way. Made by Chu. Probably gonna make flower liquor here, and he's gonna make pound cake. Oh yeah, he has to make flower worker and make a chain pound, obviously. Beach. You actually can go back to forest. He's still on blue weapon, by the way. He guess he can find a feather. Uh, he's looking for carbonated water for his weapon. Couldn't find it. It's really lucky. Lucky the meta build for Hedgen has changed. They used to end beach, by the way, like Amp Hedgen, but since crit's popular, it's actually fine to run this build right now. Because you should be like one of the only people at beach this time. And look, just a note, you can see he has his bamboo spear prepped as well. Just I wanted to note that. So he's gonna farm beach animals. But it looks like this is kind of risky because your weapon is um to last. But there's an Aiden here as well. Aiden has quite a lot of weapon mastery. She's already weapon master eight. Just want to note the augments are actually blue green, so no quench for animals. Gonna make more SP drinks. Felix struggles a bit with SP because his spells cost a decent amount, like SP wise. Oh, he's gonna prep Biden because you want cosmic Biden. This presumably, if you're on 18 foot, the direct upgrade to it is cosmic Biden. So he's just gonna hold on to that. Looks like he's actually gonna make another spear just for. Okay, never mind. I thought he was gonna make cosmic Biden. He's actually gonna make plant the Poseidon for some mastery. Now he's up mastery seven. So we go to the pond after hotel. He's gonna look for um, a spear to make pike. So he's just making a bunch of weapons for the mastery. He's gonna make dragon guan down. Yeah. He's also holding on to a, a decorative flintlock. I'm assuming he's gonna switch over to Jolly Roger. Unfortunately, I can't see where other people are to know what judgment he's making here. If I switch to this, could I see where everyone is? Okay, we can switch to this, see 
You would have seen this, so he's gonna come to Alpha even though there's like five people here. But he sees this fight, so he's gonna come third party. There, he ulted for it. He actually didn't get punished. He's gonna take the Fallen Pegasus off Bernice, which is a direct upgrade from Christian Sierra, so it makes sense. And he also took the Jolly Roger off the Bernice as well. So he has the Jolly Roger. Of course, I couldn't confirm that he actually had Jolly Roger, but I'm not even that sure. And he gets the me meteorite mithril for free, pretty much. My guess is gonna make mithril armor. I'd be very surprised if he make anything else. Yeah, he grabbed the fabric armor. He's just prepping another bamboo spear. He's just crafting a bunch of different spears for mastery. And now there's the metal armor that we made. The reason why it's like pretty much just a direct upgrade. You get a little bit less MS, but you're a lot tankier. Or sorry, MS. A little bit less attack speed, but you get more movement speed and defense in return. Felix is not going to fight Lennox, as Lennox main, I can tell you, Felix is completely free for Lennox, so it's not worth his time. <laughs> he shouldn't really bother fighting Lennox. <laughs> so, just to know, he's not at any of the trees or meteorites. He did get a meteorite for free from Bernice, so he may have actually been going to... A meteorite zone at this time. What I'm gonna do is analyze four different games and show them all simultaneously. Okay, so we have a Luke. Let's see the items. That's his build. He's gonna use his dodge mechanic to hopefully dodge as many autos as possible. Nope, but Nadine is here. He's using his E the runaway. He used to be on a shorter cooldown, but it's also used the dodge, so he just wants to make sure he actually gets away. So he has Vision of Sentiment, part of Chapel, not all Chapel, and Factory. But Factory's about to close. He's in Hotel now. Ian's not gonna go in. The reason why is because there's another person here. He doesn't want to fight and get seed. So let's see where Omega is spawning in Hotel. So he might stay here, actually. Or he's gonna go to the chapel. Interesting. I will show where everyone is at the map at this time. So there's not really anyone in a hotel. There's a few people here. Everyone's School Avenue. I guess Hotel at this point. So yeah. So he only has one kill at this point. He wants to order a meteorite, okay. 
He still hasn't been on Jolly Roger, which is a little surprised, but maybe he, he only goes Jolly Roger if he gets Cosmic Biden because he needs the attack speed. That's possible. 24, 25 would be 49. So you're gonna make Cosmic Biden in here. Well, he has to find the last part for it. He needs a knife. So he's gonna go hotel. Or dock. Either are they both have knives. So yeah, there's, that. there's the knife, and now he's gonna make Cosmic Biden. And he put on Jolly Rogers, so I was right. He wanted the attack speed. So you, you do lose technically 9% attack speed, but the mobility from Jolly Roger makes it worth it. So we have a Lennox here. He's not going to bother. Again, you, you don't win Lennox as Felix, so it's not worth your time. He's also going to wear Rhinos for healing reduction at this point. Let's see what's in this box. Claymore. Okay, I'm better than nothing. So Rio's actually not that bad because you can dodge at her autos as he's doing right now. So you want to use your E. He ulted. It wasn't the best ult. You can dodge... Rio's autos. He uses W the chase, this Rio. He's quite bulky at this point, and he knows he has more timer than the Rio. Because he killed Alpha and he also uh, killed someone else, but he's actually not gonna chase. He's gonna take the Lace Quiver back, actually. He's not gonna change the Jolly. I guess he still doesn't find he has enough attack speed at this point. And he didn't manage to kill the Rio, so... He does see the Luke, though. We can see with the cams. He knows that Luke's here ordering this. He cute the chicken, the Luke, so this is probably your best time to go in. Oh, nope, Aiden's here. Well, now... He's gonna W, he stuns, he's all. He's going back and forth, or you gotta make sure you do spear weaving in between, which is what he's doing to make sure the cooldown of this is reduced. And he also got Moonlight Pendant from the loop, and a Force Core. He's might make Halo. Ironically, he's gonna might just yeah. There's the hairband. Okay, map time. He's gonna see where everyone is anyway. So this is where everyone is right now. Doc, Bruno. So he knows that there's a Leon and Rio with them, but that's about it. He's hiding the volume packages. He doesn't need it. But yes, he didn't actually equip the Lace Quiver in the end, just because he got a Moonlight Pendant. He's not playing for crit at this point, it's just mainly high AP with attack speed and defense. Hoping to out-sustain. Wasn't the best ult out there. He's just waiting to get up his mobility spell, because once these are down, you don't want to go in, by the way. Aiden's here, so he's just gonna third party this fight. Spe spear skill to knock him back, which was quite nice. So yeah, he just kind of third party the Rio. Well, he fought Rio first, and then Aiden got the third party, but then Aiden got third party. Okay, this is Dylan with Wickbuff. 
So he's actually winning. He didn't miss the ult there. That was... <laughs> he didn't even have spear skill, by the way. He still beat the Dylan. He took her myth shield at this point. For the AP defense and attack speed in MS. Just all the sets are really good. I think it, I don't know what I am she had, but it might be a heal cut, depending on what I am she had. Yeah, this Felix is really stacked at this point. Oh, he's actually gonna go do Cephalus. Interesting, because he doesn't have any more crit, so it's very interesting for us to go back to it. Yeah, okay, he just went immediately off, never mind. Or scrap, he's gonna make red shoes, okay. So actually, he's not gonna have any heal cut, but red shoes are quite nice. He's gonna have a lot of life steal between Moonlight and red shoes. Well, it's Omni type, actually, so 15, 30% Omni. Yeah, the tree is gonna jump the wall. <laughs> he doesn't want to be anywhere near Felix. Felix is just gonna wait here to see where Rio's going. Rio decided to commit Seppuku instead of giving the kill for Felix, so. Yeah. It is what it is, I guess. Felix is waiting for Rio here. He's just autoing her a bunch. He ulted. Beautiful W with Chaser. Now he's gonna leave. Okay, let's see where everyone is. He knows Lennox is up there, and then there's Leon down there. So he's gonna fight Leon first. There's no way he's gonna fight Lennox. Nice dodge on the auto. He used the W to chase Leon. His auto's hurt a lot because he's almost at 300 AP. So this is just because he's like Exodia that he's able to do this. Almost 300 AP over 200 defense with 30% Omni siphon. Now I'm. I'm very curious to see how this ends up because like, this is a really bad matchup for Felix. It might be that he's too stacked at this point for Lennox to win. You can see what Lennox has. Like these items are not bad on Lennox. So. Okay, well she missed two spells already, so this might be a time for Felix to go in. No, never mind. So many hidden maidens. You already wasted one. Yeah, one's on five second cooldown. He's gonna wait till his spells are up. Okay, well, Lennox already wasted her shield, so the. Let's see, maybe he just timer scams the Lennox. That might be the, the play, actually. No, Lennox just missed everything. Never mind. And he also did take healing reduction, by the way. He went off his red shoes and put on Rhinos for the fight. I just wanted to point that out. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more Eternal Turn content. Also, check Manjali Ho on Twitch, which I'll link in the description. Let me know if you enjoyed this style of video as well. I hope to see you in the next video.